really want to talk to you about this uh, gender identification bill, mm. uh, the reforms that were passed by Scottish Parliament, blocked by Westminster, and have thrown fuel on the independence fire, haven't they? Certainly, and we're expecting a statement from Alistair Jack, the Secretary of State for Scotland, a little bit later, perhaps this morning, explaining exactly what the legal mechanism and the legal reasoning uh, behind using what's called Section 35 of the Scotland Act, a mechanism that has never been used before in the history of devolution, although the proponents of it say it was included in the devolution settlement for a reason. This is about when devolved legislation has conflict with UK legislation. And the argument that the UK government has is that GRA reform in Scotland impacts upon the Equality Act 2010, which is UK-wide legislation. Right, so when you have two laws conflicting, then obviously it overrides... The, the, the UK one overrides the Scottish one. Nicola Sturgeon saying this is a full frontal attack on our democratically elected Scottish Parliament and whether or not people in Scotland care about trans rights or women's rights, what they won't like is seeing Westminster interfering on things that have been approved in the Scottish Parliament. Certainly it's a very difficult thing because in the Scottish Parliament this had an overwhelming amount of support. It wasn't just the SNP that voted for it, the Greens voted for it, the Labour Party voted for it, the Lib Dems voted for it. It was only the Scottish Scottish Conservatives that in the round voted against it. Uh, and clearly the government has been wrestling over this question for some time. Of course, it passed the Scottish Parliament a number of weeks ago. The deadline in terms of whether or not the UK government could strike it down is this Wednesday. So they left it really quite late. They said they've been looking at legal advice and exploring what their lawyers have been saying about the uh, potential conflicts that might exist between Scottish legislation mm. and UK-wide legislation. It has to be said, though, we haven't yet seen the detail of that. And it's interesting to hear from the Labour Party this morning. They have not announced whether or not they support the government using Section 35 or not. Okay. They say they want to wait and see what that legal advice was. And perhaps we'll hear more from the Secretary of State for Scotland later today on okay. that.